Hi, I'm making this because it took me a little while to work this out. Basically, it's how to grow an image and keep the square corners. Because whenever you grow an image, it always seems to round off the corners. I use it to make borders for my videos. There's a few filters that make borders for you, but this is the simplest one I found. I looked on YouTube, couldn't find anything really. No simple videos to show you exactly how to do it. And it was GIMP chat room, a comment on there that helped me. So, start with something simple. Just going to draw a red square. Fill that with a foreground colour. I'm going to create a new layer. Transparent layer. Put that to the bottom. And go to this one, we've already got the square selected. So I'm going to grow it. I grow it quite a lot, just so it's easier to see. Grow it by 50. And you see how it gives round corners? I want square corners. So if you go up here to select rounded rectangle, put that right down to zero, turn the concave off, put it right down to zero. You see it squares off the corners. Simple as that. I'm going to fill that. I've clicked down to the lower layer. And fill that with black. Back up to the top layer. Use the fuzzy select tool. Click on the red. Back down to the black layer. And if I click clear and just turn off that top layer, you can see I've created a frame. That's what I use it for basically. I'll give you a quick example of what, what I use it for. Just open this up. Right, here I'm talking about, about my calipers that broke. And I'm having to use my compasses. So I've got this image here. That I want to put in there. So I'm going to shrink the image. And I want to put a frame around that. So what I do is turn that top layer off. Turn that background image off. And I go up here to brightness and contrast. You see, this is all black, and there's black there, there's a bit of dark on the image, so it's easier if I go to this brightness and contrast, turn the brightness right up, that makes that picture go white. So now I can export that as a JPEG, just send it to the desktop. Call it border. Yeah, border. Now if I go back to now if I sorry. Now I'll I'll just undo that, make the picture as it was. And I can move that image down a little bit. Leave space for the border that I'm gonna create now. So let's just clear that. Oops. So we select none, clear that. So we've got an empty screen. And then I open. Desktop. Where is it? The border. Open. Close that one that was there before. So we've got the border open. So now using the fuzzy select, I can select the white, create a new layer, put that below. We can grow this image now. Grow. I'm going to grow it by. 15 you see it's got rounded corners 
So if I go to rounded rectangle, set that at naught, and go down here, fill with black brown. If I turn off that top one, you can see it's made a full square, but I want to cut out that white bit in the middle, so I go back up to the top layer. Fuzzy select tool, select that white, back down to the next layer, clear. You see I've made a black border now, so I can delete that top layer if I want. And I'm going to export this up here as a PNG. Oops. PNG. So I'm going to export that as a PNG. A PNG will keep the background transparent to the desktop. I'm just going to label it border PNG as well. Export. Now if we go back to the movie, desktop, well it's desktop, desktop, border PNG, there we go, I put that in there now, you see me, picture's got a black border on it, it's like both of them group them together movement, size, position I can move both of them wherever I want now anyway, hope that helps somebody like I say, it took me a little bit of a while to work it out. Just grow your image. Just grow your image. Go to a rounded rectangle. Radius, zero. 